Hello everybody, welcome to Fruitful Trees and I'm at my friend Jonathan's house and he doesn't want to be on camera today but he has a nice little house and he showed me he's been here about four years. Four years ago there was nothing growing here and now he had a little food fires going on so I wanted to come on and check it out. I actually gave him some white sapote to try and he he called me up and he said he has some fruit for me to try and but then I he showed me a before and after picture of his house and so much growing that wasn't so we're going to check out and see what he has today so he's going to be talking in the background maybe uh let's turn us around here now so Sabra, John, say hello jonathan even though hi. you're not on camera oh hi i'm hiding in the background okay i have a uh, sabra jabo uh, red jabo, yellow jabo there. Well, how long have those been in the ground? Um, about two years. Two years. Now, you've been here four years you started planting, yes. right? Yes, that's a groomachama. Groomachama right here? Yeah. With a papaya uh, growing. A little volunteer papaya. My right. volunteer papayas do the best. When I transplant them, they don't do so well. Now, from the picture you showed me, everything, there was nothing here when you, you moved in. put a water barrel in. Oh, wow. And what do you do with that water? I use it to water with, but of course, when it rains enough, I don't need that much water. There you go. <laughs> All right. Um, Oro Negro on your, uh, from... Uh, Oro Negro, okay, he watches yeah. my videos. Okay, you got it from Incredible Edibles, Oro Negro, which is a wonderful avocado, winter avocado. It actually is holding a few, I believe. Yeah, there's Look one. at that. There's one. All righty. Have you gotten any fruit on it yet? I didn't, this is the first year for fruit. How I old is the I'd tree? Get, I just put it in the ground. I mean, okay. it was a seven gallon, it went crazy. This was, a, at the same time, I put this, what's the name of that one? Brogdon. Brogdon, okay. Brogdon, straight up um, Brogdon. Oro Negro has been here for a while. Or, I mean, not Oro Negro, sorry. This is Super Haas. Super Haas. Super, Super Haas. I let them fall is what I do. That's my, and they, uh, when they fall, they're usually ripe enough. But the problem is then I get every other year. So wait, so I want to discuss two things. First of all, the super haas, yeah. you have gotten fruit before. Delicious, but then I left them on the tree long enough to, for them to fall off the tree, fully ripe. But then what happened was it went past the flowering season, I got nothing the next year. Does any of the fruit ripen unevenly, do you find? I wait, I wait till it falls. Okay, now you have Oro Negro, Brogdon, I mean, Ornego, Brogdon, and Tupas right next to each other. I know. This so. is going to leave. The plan was for this to go. Okay. It didn't, and then it fruited. Okay. And uh, M14, I just put in from uh, Michael Gonzalez. M4 or M? M4, sorry. M4, okay. M4. I have never had the fruit. I just hope it's good. This is my very good Edward that uh, wow. I was lucky enough to get put in. And... Uh, Again, I let the fruit drop. I keep it as sure as I can. Like this one's probably way past ripe. And if I just lift it up, no, uh, let's see, I'll leave it. I okay. let it go. Now, what's this white fruit. thing around here? Oh, that was because three years ago we had a really cold winter and uh, I stopped the breeze from the northeast okay. and, uh, and, and then kept all my blooms that way. How old is this tree? Four years old. That's Four weird. years yeah. old, okay. But keep it cut, keep it cut. This I put in last year. This is a super Alfonso. Alfonso. Super Alfonso. Beautiful. How how big was it when you put it in? Again, it was a seven gallon. But seven it gallon. It goes crazy here. I don't know why. Yeah, and how many years ago you put it in? Four years ago? No, this is only two years. That two years. Four. A seven yeah. gallon. And look how much fruit's on there. Yeah. Really nice. Great yeah. avocado. This is your favorite cog saw. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he's being sarcastic. I don't like cog's hole, but this is it. It's it's supposed to be a small tree, but it's I keep taking it down. Tree. It keeps going up. If you really look wow. inside, you see. It's certainly a beautiful fruit. Uh, the color is beautiful, but that's what cog's hole. Orange sherbet. Okay. Now, this is orange sherbet. Right. Now, when you put these in, did you know about yeah, the different varieties? Yeah, I, I know. Okay. I mean, uh, I, I got this one. I didn't know the variety. Then after okay. this, I knew about varieties. And this I okay. thought was good, but uh, no, nobody seems to like it. I, I like it, it's good. Okay, well, so you got orange sherbet I get here. a lot of, I get a lot of fruit from the cog cell too. A lot okay. of fruit on the counter. It, all these panicles had fruit. So what's this, just an ornament? Yes, ornamental was here. Okay. That's uh, Passiflora loriflora, which is called the water, what is it called? Water lemon in Jamaica. Oh. It's a, it's, 
It's I haven't got any fruit yet, but I get you get flowers that smell like uh, lemon pledge. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, and how much? La how big's your land here? Because it looks I small. Don't know. It's just a backyard. Okay. Uh, let's see. This is possum purple. Oh, possum. Okay. Passion fruit. Yes, exactly. Passion fruit. That's now remember this, everybody. We got a small yard here, and he has. Do you know how many trees you have total? No. It, well, about ten trees, fifteen trees. You can do this, and you can do it close. You got to cut the trees every year, but it's possible. So don't be discouraged if you don't have a lot of land. Yeah. That one's uh, pina colada. Pina colada. Now. And that one just went in too, and it went nuts. There you go. I got that one from uh, what is it? The mango place. And it's interesting. The leaves on this one look like ice cream. <laughs> But that's how pina colada is. I actually got rid of my pina colada. Not that I don't like it, but uh, I needed the space. But oh, okay. I understand. I broke, I'm as bad as you with pulling trees. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, I, I went avocado crazy because I, I need to eat out of the yard, not just enjoy my mangoes. So uh, this is a Catalina. Catalina, okay. And this is a, an odd one. Well, there's a bunch of... Uh, there's already pineapple. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of pineapples. There's 30. Oh, I can tell you there's over 30 pineapples. The what, do you just put the heads in after you eat them? Look at that. It's already... You, you just put the heads in right after you eat them in the ground? Exactly. It's a dole. All, they're all dole except for I bought these sugar loaves and put them under there. Those are sugar loaves. Okay. So there you got the Catalina. You got a bunch on there. Already. And, and again... It's a now, when you got your avocados, did you think about the different seasons of avocado? Well, I only have one... Uh, yeah, what is you it? have Oro Negro's late, you right. got oh, yeah, Catalina's mid-season, yeah. right. and then you have the Super House, which is mid-season. And this is Buck, which is supposed to be a super late. Buck, yes, that's a super late one. Not and many it, people it, have it. For some reason, it, it held one already, which uh -huh. really shouldn't, but there it is. This is a uh, carry, uh, you know this one, Star Apple, oh, no. Oh, uh, no, Star no, Fruit. not Star, star Fruit, right. Okay. Eh, you know, it's it's okay. Not yeah, but it's in the winter when you get nothing else. Right, exactly. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. Red banana, which I'm phasing out. Turmeric, uh, ginger, and ginger. The ginger. So you're not a have. fan of the red banana? It just takes so long, and it's so fussy. I don't know. This is yeah. Potomba, which I've really enjoyed. I'm surprised how much I like it. And in a in a pot, it's it's giving me a lot of fruit. Looks like. Yeah, Potomba. That's the second one this year. Second, second blossom is here. Now you live in a neighborhood here. I see all your neighbors have mangoes. It's amazing. I didn't really notice, but yeah, that's oh, good. Oh, all around. It's I I know that guy does. I know a guy. Yeah, across the street. That's true. And do yep. you know them? Are you friends with them? Yeah, he's a great Italian guy. He gave me this fig. You see that? It's a white fig. Yeah. Okay. And I put that in the ground. I know nothing about it, but there it goes. That's Nishik Nishikawa avocado. Okay. And then. Uh, Here's my ad for Leap Leap. I, oh, I ate the custard apples uh, from uh, oh, Chris Welch, and it was so good that I planted the seeds and getting yeah. something. I don't know. But uh, this thing, that's a volunteer, of course. There's a volunteer papaya. And I like what he said about papaya. He said when he tries to plant them, they don't do well. But when he, when he just throws the seeds down, they do great. And I have the same experience, actually. They show up on their own. This is my favorite tree in the yard right now. Okay, he's going to get on and make a quick cameo on because, the camera. Uh, it's my sour. Sour sour sap. Is that a seedling? This is from Leap Leap, and I believe it is a seedling. All right. It, That's it's the only thing I've been successful. It's successful. from a seedling. I just saw them this morning. I was over there. And he has three sour sub trees, all seedlings, but they all do great. And look, show us again how big that one is. Wow. Well, they're all coming in. I mean, I got many, many. This is probably four pounds. Wow. And Beautiful. the other ones are much smaller, but I mean. Is I this the to, first year you're getting? Yeah, I had to jack up the tree. The tree was falling over from the fruit. Now, do you water this tree? Um, I irrigate the yard. See, there's little micro sprinklers. Okay. But it's just enough to stop the drought, not really to. Sure. Not really anything else. This is also a custard apple from the, but just a unknown red seedling. This is a Miami soursop, and it got blown over, and I, and I transplanted it, and it held the fruit <laughs> that it had on there, which wow. surprised me. Because you Miami wouldn't think it would. Miami soursop. Yeah. All right. From Laura Fox. Right. I went right to Laura to get it. And uh, what kind of banana is this here? I have no idea. 
Okay. Well, it's a dwarf or whatever it is. <laughs> uh, it, true. It's delicious. It's nice. Of course, it's so kind of a little bit orangish inside. Um, this is seedling from uh, Fruit 8. Of course, uh, what's this? Green Caimito? I don't know. I've never had it. Star Apple, yes. Uh, Achacha, or how do you say it? Achacha. Achuru, yeah. It's finally putting the leaves on. Uh, what's this? Here's my. Let's see. Where is this from? Bonita Springs. White Sapote. White Sapote. Okay. Exactly. Uh, Thai seedless guava. I would go that way. Okay. And uh, let's see. August 2021. I got a seed from uh, a friend of mine with Kemp Jack's CH17. I put it in the ground. I have this great tree. It's loaded with fruit. But I'm still waiting for the first fruit to be ripe enough to eat. What kind of tree is it? It's this Kemper Jack, I would say. It's a CH17. Oh, okay. Kemper Jack. Come over, take a peek. Take a peek. If you look up high, there's a. Oh wow! All kinds of fruit coming in. And Kemper Jack. Uh, yeah, and the crazy wow. thing is. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! We see these small fruits here. And whoa, look how big that is. That must be 40 pounds. Wow. It's been on there five months. Five months, wow. It's just getting there, but it doesn't smell yet. Wow. wow. And it's amazing how these are sending out uh, companion feed. And how old is this tree? Uh, 2021, August 2021. I put a seed in the ground. Wow. And what do your neighbors think? Because we're here we are. I give them mangoes. I'm going to show them. <laughs> look, look, look at the difference. It's completely empty. And this is his yard. And his yard looked like this four years ago. So you give your neighbor mangoes? Yeah. And he They all mind. love it. They all love the mangoes. Well, now, would he let you plant a mango tree here or no? Uh, I'd have to fix his irrigation first. Okay. okay. <laughs> all right. Well, here's a volunteer papaya that has papayas I'm going to pull today. Okay. And that's supposed to be a dwarf king. I don't know. Do you get coconuts of it? Not yet. No. Okay. What I'm do we getting, got here? This is another seed from the same plant, some the same fruit that that one came from. But this one's only getting male. Let's see, a little couple, oh, where are they? A couple male flowers. Oh, oh here's right. one of the, here's a great uh, papaya example. I'm leaving it. Look at this, the purplish one. Yeah. Sure. And I like that. Um, no, I don't even see the male flowers now. But there are. There's a couple male flowers. Is that a loquat? There's the Bradington loquat. Okay. And you still have more room to plant, or is this a drain field? I'm thinking that, uh, well, that is where the pipes come in. So I'm thinking anything with shallow roots, like, uh, what was I going to say, the Potomba, maybe? Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. And we're in this area where it's... Like I said, when I was driving here, I saw so many people with mangoes. Now, this is an old mango grove, this whole area. A lot growing on here. Yes. Well, thank you for having us and showing us around. Appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, thank you for letting me try the sapote. Yeah, now he's going to give us some. Did you like the white sapote? Oh, to me, it tastes like a pear. Nobody yeah. says that. Yours? Yeah. It was nice and crunchy and delicious. Yeah, I didn't think it was crunchy. Well, okay. <laughs> it wasn't mush. It wasn't mushy. I think it was the pony is being soft. Yeah. All right. Perfect. All right. Now he's showing us his compost. Wow. It's not just that. I have the black soldier fly. See the black soldier fly? Yeah. Wow. They are awesome. They eat everything real fast, process it. And, and then what do you do with the compost? I spread it around the plants, and I think that's how my papaya starts showing. Now, is there holes in this? Yeah, big holes. On the sides, but what about the bottom? Yes, of course, the bottom. And it's up on bricks. And I had to switch to a, a steel one because they, they rats or whatever come and, and go through the plastic one. Oh, wow. So the steel one's going to rust out because of the water. It's always wet. But I put layers of uh, peat. So that the f it's not like fly leaf. Well, when do you get out to take the compost it's out? It's done full. <laughs> and I take the top and put it in the bottom of a different one. You know what I mean? You just keep it going. Wow. I try not to and it's feeding your banana. It's right here. Exactly. I was thinking Very it nice. has to do with... This thing is so self-pollinating. I mean, it's so... I've never had one. It's just a load of food. 
And I don't do anything to pollinate. I mean, look at it this. It certainly is. Wow. You know what I mean? Wow. And I think it's from the... I think it's from having the bugs around. You know? They Very good. The beetles. Doing a good job, man. All right. Hey, everybody. That was our friend Jonathan showing us his yard. Small space. Growing stuff. You don't need a big space to grow. Uh, just... Keep in mind, if it's smaller, you're going to have to work harder to keep it small. Eventually, you might have to pull things out, but that's the way it is. I have a video coming up soon on my small space about what I'm doing here and about how I've grown what they call high density, uh, things close together. And I'll be talking about that in a, in a future video coming up real soon. But thank you, Jonathan, for having us come out. Great information. So excited to see you getting fruit on those trees, those fruitful trees. Until then, everybody, put your comments or questions below. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. If you have a yard and you're growing some fruit trees and you'd like me to come out and feature on the channel, please contact me at the email below. I'd love to come on out. Have a great day, everybody, and keep growing. For more educational videos about mangoes and other fruits and how to grow fruit trees, please look out the other videos on this channel, Fruitful Trees, and also subscribe if you like, and also share these videos with others. Thank you for watching. Have a great day and keep growing.